We're embarking MSC Eurybia today, so come along with us and find out how the embarkation process goes. We are sailing around Northern Europe. We're embarking in Southampton, travelling to Hamburg, off to Rotterdam, then Zabrugge, sailing to Le Havre and back to Southampton. We had a lot of fun on this cruise and visited some amazing ports. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the rest of our series. So let's start the adventure. Today our mode of transport to Southampton is the train. We're going to attempt to track all our spending outside of our cruise fare. So how much did the train fare cost us, Nath? It's cost us £99.60. Everything's going up. My subway was £5. It's time to board the train. It's raining in the rain of us. <laughs> Ten points if you can guess what musical this song's from. Going down, 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 down. You're regretting not having that coat, baby. No. Your shivering is telling a different story. I'm not shivering. You're shivering. Well, I'm certainly cold. Ooh. We have to take three trains to Southampton, but the last stretch is always a bit of a tight fit. The walk from the train station to the hotel should take around 20 minutes, but it was longer this time as I decided to aim in charge of directions. I can't do it, it's so steep. You should have taken us the right way then. We are staying at Southampton Central Travel Lodge, which is a short distance from the cruise port. I didn't know a cat could play a cello. We said goodbye to our cases and have now gone for some food and drink at Weatherspoons. What are you drinking, Amy? I'll have half a pint of wine. This Weatherspoons is conveniently located just around the corner from our hotel. We decided to treat ourselves to a slap up five star meal. How much did this luxury cost us, Amy? I think that's £38.30 from her dodgy miming. And just like that, it's cruise day! On our way to the port to go and take a sneaky peek at her. Oh, obligatory visit to the port each time we come to Southampton in the morning. It's like a ritual. It's a ritual. We've kind of had a sneak peek of her already from our bedroom window. We just looked out the window and we just realised we can see you. But we want to see her up close and personal. That rap's leading nowhere. A little bit dangerous. <laughs> Say cheese. If you can guess the musical Amy's singing from here, we need to be friends. I have friends, I definitely have friends. We ran back to Spoons for a traditional fry up and Amy tried a breakfast wrap. No alcohol yet, plenty of time for that later. We're now heading back to the travel lodge because... It's time for our luggage tags! These are sent to you by the cruise line, normally via email, so keep an eye out for them. And now we're going to fold them up and put them in little plastic things that I bought off Amazon. It's a bit of a tight squeeze today. Is it in yet? It's so tight. Oh no. The plastic tags are really easy to attach to your luggage and are even protected from the rain. We checked in for our cruise 30 days in advance via the MSC for Me app. You have to take a photo of yourself and then scan your passport, which we experienced a lot of difficulties with. UK. Okay? It's ridiculous. <laughs> We eventually had to change devices to complete the process. You were then able to select your embarkation time slot. The final step is to register your debit or credit card to use for your onboard expenses, though we would recommend using a credit card. And if you're travelling with friends or family, there is an option to link your bookings. We just wait until the last minute to get out of the room because... We're tight skates. It, you know, we're making the most it. of every single minute. And now, ship time. That's ship time, not minute time. We're taking a taxi from the hotel to the cruise port because, you know, baggage, we're not carrying it. And just like that, we have arrived at the Horizon Terminal. How much did the taxi cost, Nate? That was £8.40, but I rounded it to £10 to give a little tip. So because we had tags, we go straight this way, which is good. Stay a bit strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was heavy. <laughs> we breeze straight through security, but we're not allowed to film there. Shh. We made our way to the check-in desk and checked in for the cruise. Our photos were taken again, even though we had already provided them in advance. We love Southampton because yeah. it's generally it's so quick. So, that was so straightforward. It's so quick. We've literally gone from, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes it's at that. most, it's like from getting dropped off to security, to checking in, to now about to embark on the ship. Yeah, so that quick. so streamlined. 
and we're on board! It's a little, it's a little wine bar in here. That is cool. That is cute. So we're going to go find our cabin. Our cruise cards will be waiting outside for us. You don't need cash on board as your cruise cards act as your payment cards and room keys. So we've dropped off our stuff. We can't stay in here because they still got to get the cabin properly ready. Um, so we're just going to go maybe go find some, go explore a little bit. So what time did they say it was going to be properly ready? Half past two. Okay, so we could go back at half past two. Yeah. These screens are on every level, displaying what floor you are on so you don't get lost, like us. Nathan attempted to log into the MSC app, but it took a while to complete. It worked fine once we were finally in. So we have to get our first glimpse of the pool deck. Fancy a swim? And it will be rude not to indulge in our first cocktail of the cruise. What are you getting? Well, I don't know, innit? Oh, you're giving me a surprise. Look at all the cocktails I got. It's really weird because it feels like we've been on this ship before, which we kind of have because we've been on Virtuosa, which is like the sister ship. But it's kind of, it's slightly different, isn't it? Like, it's, like the pool things are slightly different. Yeah. But everything feels so familiar and it's weird. Yeah. So, what did you get me, Nathan? Well, since we always love the Coco Locos on MSC... Mm. Oh, yeah. I recognise that taste. Oh, that's good. That is good. We do miss... I've missed the Coco Loco. Stop being nosy. I'm a yacht club member, can't you tell? No, you're not. Oh. IKEA. Look at IKEA. Look. That, that is so beautiful. Check out the infinity whirlpools in Arabia. Do you want to go in? What, closed? Yeah. With the That's cocktail? Good. Not always this cocktail. Can you spot the butterflies? You have two seconds. One, two. Have you succeeded? There's also a pool at the aft of the ship with plenty of sun lounges around too. What are you thinking so far? It's weird, it's like we know it. Like, I recognise where everything is and... Yeah, but it's just slightly different. But it's slightly different. You can't go on the climbing train, maybe. This is due to it being a little bit windy. OK, time to move inside. Hello, Mr Bunny. What's your name? Oh, is it Lego? That is so cool. That literally is made of Lego. Win us a dinosaur, Nathan. Get the grab claw. Win us a dinosaur. Not for 350 euros, I ain't. That's not a very nice thing to do to plushes. Choco would be angry. Revenge for my kind! Plush rights, plush rights, plush rights. Now we're trying to find our restaurant so we can inquire about changing our dining time. First one, the no name wine. So we've been assigned 9.30 p.m. dining, which is the latest dining you can have. We popped down to the Green Orchid, which is our assigned restaurant and we spoke to the restaurant manager there and he said they had 5.30 available, 7.30 and 9.30. He said the 7.30 slot is the most busiest slot they have because that's where most people like to eat. If we went on the waiting list for it, that we'd be sharing a table, but he suggested that we keep our 9.30 table as we'd have a table for two by ourselves. So let's continue exploring. Is that a Swarovski staircase I see? Oh, we have to get one of these crepes. Amy, they're extra. Oh. How about ice cream then? You can pay. Oh, what is this I see? It's the theatre, Nathan. Our favourite place. As I try to sort out the issues with the app, Amy is being frustrating and acting like a child. 
We've got a solo travellers meeting. That's nice. That's quite nice. Second drink of the day is a pina colada for moi and a G&T for Nathan. Do you think if I jumped from here, I would survive? No. I reckon I would. I'm pretty tough. I might break a leg, but I think <laughs> I'd survive. Looking at the temiyaki. Are you scared? Maybe we should just do it. Maybe, maybe we should just risk it. Be this really... is the um, menu here for it. A geisha, a samurai, or an emperor. Dining at this restaurant incurs an extra charge. Do you think we should be adventurous and just go for it, guys? You okay, Nathan? You you made it. It's scary, it's scary. Thought like they were going to fall through. There's also a large casino on board with several TVs, all showing various sports throughout the day. There's even a dedicated area for smokers. Nathan. Yes. We're on a cruise. Are we? Now this is something that is very different from Virtuosa. Ooh. This is beautiful. It's more like a loungy bar now, rather than a, another venue for a stage. Yeah. We've literally just walked in already, we're like in love with it. I think this is going to be one of our favourite bars, you know. I'm very excited by the amount of instruments that are here as well. There's a list of cars and there's loads of them, we have to look at the way out. Okay. There's a lot. Teppanyaki. Book. You've got to see these. That's right, we've done it guys. These interactive screens allow you to make bookings effortlessly. While we were here, we also made a reservation for Hola Tacos. Oops! I love these screens. But now we're really hungry. Time to head to the buffet for some well-deserved food. Nathan, Nathan, MSC Pizza, MSC Pizza. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Come eat your grub. Are you my grub? Are you waiting for me? Yeah. Oh, you're so flat, baby. We found that it was actually quite busy in the buffet. However, we found a little spot out here, which is very private. Yes, of course, it's not the warmest out here, but it's it's pleasant. It's a little bit chilly, but it's not too bad. It's doable. Yeah, so we come out for some lunch and we got some, we just got a slice of pizza because it's <laughs> basically four slices in one. <laughs> I think it's actually bigger than my head. I think it is. Go I go for a turkey medallion and a little bit of garlic bread. Pesto and cheese. I love pesto, so I'm good for that. I went for some mozzarella balls because if you've not tried the mozzarella balls on MSC, yeah. what are you doing with your life? I got a few blocks of cheese because I am Amy at the end of the day. And I don't know what that is. I was hoping it was goat's cheese, but we'll find out. What cheese are you? It's a game show. What cheese are you? <laughs> your host, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it could be Wendell. It tastes like the Wendell. Yeah. That nice? <laughs> you want me to try it? Wow. That's nice, isn't it? That's like melting in your mouth. Well, that turkey and that sauce is like. And people say MSC food is naff. No, I don't agree. No, there's such a selection there today as well. I'm gonna bite into the monster that is this pizza. MSC do it right. MSC do pizza so good. I'm not trying to fit it in my mouth, you know, look. <laughs> Good twins. The taste of that is lovely. That's really nice. A slice of pizza being half a pizza. They are jamungus. Jamungus? Jamungus? Jamungi? Jamungus. <laughs> You're just creating your own words now. I don't know what's going on. You know what's going on right now? No idea what's going on. Oh. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> the cabins are ready, so now it's time to film our cabin tour, which will be released on our channel next week. Sorry, we're being mean and making you wait. It's a little bit poor, I think, MSC. Please subscribe to our channel for a free way to support us and you won't miss out on our next videos. The muster drill takes place at 4.30pm each day, as there are guests embarking in multiple ports throughout the cruise. At this time, you are instructed to go to your cabin and watch the safety demonstration on your TV. Once you have finished watching the presentation, you are required to dial 881 from your cabin phone to confirm that you have watched. When you have done this, you head down to your muster station. If you're not sure where this is, this information is printed on your cruise card and is also available to view on the back of your cabin door. Upon arrival at your muster station, your cruise card will be scanned by the staff to prove you've attended. 
please note that this process can be rather busy as everyone usually heads down at the same time. And then we ran into a little problem. We're supposed to bring adapters, obviously on cruises, because we can't use our UK plugs normally, unless you're on a UK cruise line. And Amy's bought our USA ones, except that the only outlets on this ship are EU adapters, and they don't fit. Oops. I'm really guilty because I messed up quite a bit on this cruise. I've forgotten a fair bit. You mean like forgetting your handbags? Yeah. Normally I'm pretty, pretty good. I'm not as uh, sharp as I normally am. A little later. Oops, oops. Oops, oops, oops. So how are we dealing with the plug issue? I mean, I was quite upset because I thought, oh no, what have we done? I can't like charge the phone, which means we can't film certain things. YouTube's ruined. Well, lucky Navy Bunny was here to save the day. I went down to guest services, asked if we could borrow an adapter, an EU adapter. They agreed, but you have to pay a 30 euro deposit. As long as you return it by the last day of the cruise, then they refund the money back to you. Well done, MSC. Well, well done. done, well done. And in case you haven't guessed, it's white night tonight. Ooh. And we're so excited for our first night on board. We're just gonna walk down to the carousel lounge because we think it's cute there. We think it's really cute. Oh no, we're going the wrong way. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're back this way. It's not even on the sister ship to this. I'm lost. Are you okay, Nathan? Do you need a hand? This is aperitif time with Duo Jam. We absolutely love this venue as a place to listen to live music. Don't look right, but there's some batteries on the table. Oh, MSC have provided us with some snacks. That's cool. Yum. I'm eating crisps and I like it. I think we're moving. I think we're moving. Do you want to wander up to the top deck for a look? Or would that be weird? No, let's do it. Should we do it? Yeah, well, I mean, it might only last two minutes because it'd be cold. Yeah. But... Should, we, no. should we risk it? Yeah. It's a good use in there, but without going outside. Elevator's crowded. Please oh. wait. Just doing a random dance as we're waiting for the lift. <laughs> it's too cold on the deck as expected, so let's go and visit the next best thing. Literally, look at that view. We're moving. That's right, peasants. We are gold. Gold member. We got a rush. We got a rush. You're a bit late for the theatre. Ah. Theatre time. Theatre. What a surprise that we've come to a theatre tonight. I know. What a surprise. What though. a shock. Generation Rock tonight. Are you hiding your photo, Nathan? A journey through the generations of the greatest rock bands and artists of all time, with hits from legends like ACDC, The Rolling Stones, David Bowie, Kiss, Journey and Queen. We really enjoyed this production from the wacky costumes, the choreography and the airless. The only thing we thought that was a little bit dodgy was the singing. But the fact that we love rock music allowed us to overlook it a bit. And the white party is just beginning. But sadly, we couldn't stay for long. Nathan, dinner time. Dinner, dinner is still. Well, not quite yet, anyway. Here we go. Dinner time. Dinner is nearly still. We're by the window. <laughs> it wasn't going so fast when you're so low down. Yeah. Bread, bread, bread. And butter. <laughs> bread and butter. And butter. <laughs> I must say that Having seen the menu, there's not as much choice on the courses as we're normally used to. 
A lot of the starters are kind of salads, which is fine. But even the mains, there's like only five choices and three always available ones, and one of them is a side dish. Give us more choice. And what is this? The asparagus thing, and I'm scared. Go for it, baby. I opted for the aubergine parmigiana. I think Nathan wins this round. Yeah. The olive can get in the bin. Eat I'm not, the olive. I'm not, you eat the olive. I'm not eating, I hate olive. So you're a vegetarian today. This is the spinach, quinoa and potato burger. And apparently I went for a whole turkey. Like, how big is this? Like, I'm not finishing that, I'm not gonna lie. Are you stuffed a bow? I am, are you? Very much so. So, we are on our way to investigate the big band playing in the carousel lounge. That is a band. That is a band. We counted 17 players in this orchestra. <laughs> Let me play among the stars next to the wall. I think it's an understatement to say that we love this. Again. That's it. We want some fun. We had some fun, but different type of fun. We, we're dancey fun. Let's go. Let's go dance, dance. However, it wasn't exactly what we imagined it to be. Okay, personally, that's like a bit creepy about that. The nightclub is opposite the because... teens club. It's a bit weird. Yeah, like why have the teens club opposite the nightclub? But the teens club's still open, so they're still mingling, mingling near the adults in the attic nightclub. It's a bit weird. Just give them their own space. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time for bed. I'm a growing. You're Basil 40. What's Basil 40? From 40 Towers. I don't know what that is. I expect to be able to see the sea. You can see the sea. It's over there between the land and the sky. Are we losers for going to bed early? Yeah. The big band was amazing. Probably one of the best things I've seen at sea. It kind of put the, the theatre show to shame a bit. How great it, it was. Anyway, we're going to go to bed now. 12.24. That's quite early for us, but we're a bit tired and we're a bit creeped out by the attic. <laughs> Yeah. So how much have we spent so far? £163.80. I minused off my subway because I used my points. If you've made it this far in the video, why don't you comment a kiwi emoji? Oh, how you eat kiwi? You, you don't eat the skin, you have to cut it off. Oh. Good night, guys. It's a sea day tomorrow, so we're going to utilise this stunning ship as much as possible. We'll see you then. Thank you for watching and for liking and subscribing. We really appreciate it. Bye.